Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I made a video yesterday, and I screwed up. And I'm really glad that I did. Um, I uh, was making changes to my config file, my user config file. And I indicated a wrong place to make the change. Uh, somebody pointed this out to me. And it got me to start looking into the changes I was looking at a little more deeply. And I had an epiphany. Now, if we think about what we're looking at right now, uh, we're here in this beautiful, crystal clear morning in Miami, Gate Delta 26, where we always like to do our little visual testing. And I asked myself a question that I had never asked before, which is, what am I looking through? Okay, like we're seeing this scene right now, but what are we seeing this scene through? Now, the logical answer would be through your eyes, right? Well, um, so the setting that I was thinking about changing, or that I made the video about changing yesterday, is uh, a setting called Sharpen, which, you know, re relatively self-explanatory, sharpens the image. Um, and so I was looking at the other settings in the same kind of grouping in the user config file, and there were a couple that didn't really make any sense to me. There was no logical explanation exactly what they meant. And so I started looking into them to try to figure it out. Maybe these would be things that would be worth changing as well. Uh, one of them was called Vignette. Um, and I'll look really quick here. Um, this is the, the user config file that we're talking about. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to make the same mistake I made yesterday. So these are the these are these uh, these settings, right? And and it's it the the section is called post process, and um, they are uh, the 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 settings that I was looking at in particular that I didn't quite understand were fringe, uh, f basically fringe and vignette. And I was like, okay, that, that doesn't really make sense. It's not obvious to me what that might be. Um, eye adaptation was somewhat obvious, although I had to look into it to figure out what it is. And what eye, eye adaptation is, is the way your eyes naturally adapt to changes in light, right? So if we go into the cockpit, um, on a bright day if you stepped right into this cockpit and sat down, you initially everything would be very, very bright, and then your eyes adjust to it, right? So um, that's what eye adaptation is. Um, and then I started looking at the other things that were in this section. Um, color grading wasn't, you know, quite obvious to me. But then you see lens distortion, dirt, lens flare, and film grain, and vignette. So I, I just couldn't quite understand what was going on here and what these things do and then it occurred to me now there's a setting called dirt okay um, when was the last time you say you said to yourself geez I really need to clean out my eyes I've got some you know my, my eyes are really dirty I just need to clean my eyes um, I, I've gotten dirt in my eyes in my lifetime but I've never had dirty eyes <laughs> it just you know doesn't make any sense um, and then you look at lens distortion, and you look at uh, lens flare. Now, a lot of people say, okay, lens flare, if you turn it off in Microsoft Flight Simulator, you get this really dull-looking ball of the sun right there, okay? And as you can see, I've got lens flare turned off. Um, the, the settings that I was just showing you, by the way, is a copy of my user config file, because I didn't want it to be open while I was in the sim. So those aren't the actual settings that I'm running right now. Uh, I just wanted to show you what the settings were. So looking at the sun right now, there's no lens flare, obviously. And the sun looks like a ball in the sky. Well, guess what? I mean, you know, first of all, we don't generally look at the sun, but if, if you've ever looked at it in like, you know, kind of through the clouds or through a haze or whatever, this is what it looks like. It doesn't, it, there is no lens flare. You don't get lens flare in your eyes, right? It's not an effect that happens to your eyes. And as I got thinking about these things more and more often, uh, or, or more deeply, um, I you know did a lot of searching. One of the suggestions in terms of dirt was that it was a, a touchdown effect. Like, 
like if you're touching down, you know, on a dirt runway or, um, and and that explanation makes absolutely no sense because there's a there are setting that you know, wouldn't there be a water setting there if that's what that was and and why would it be grouped together with the rest of these visual, um, you know, uh, filters in terms of post processing? It's not a dirt. You know the the kicking up of dirt when you land or grass when you land on the grass or dirt runway is not a visual post processing thing. It's a it's a it's an effect in the sim. You know, um, of the of the physical interaction interaction of the airplane with the ground. So that didn't make any sense. And then it occurred to me that what we're talking about here is what we're looking at Microsoft Flight Simulator through. And you would think to yourself, well, we're looking at it through our eyes. Now, we are obviously using our eyes to look at the screen, but what is the screen showing us? The screen is not showing us what the Microsoft Flight Simulator world looks like through eyes. This is showing us what Microsoft Flight Simulator world looks like through a camera. Okay, and you say, well, what difference does that make? It makes a huge difference when you consider the fact, like, I don't want dirt on my, on my, on, 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 on the, the medium through which I'm seeing the world in Microsoft Light Simulator. I don't want dirt on there. I don't want uh, lens flare. I don't want, you know, sharpening. I don't want lens distortion. I don't want film grain. I don't even know what vignette is. I don't want that either. What I want is to see the Microsoft Flight Simulator world as I would see it with my eyes in the sim. Now, one of the things that people talk about a lot is brightness. They say that it's too bright. It's too washed out. Um, Now, you could say that about this scene, the scene that we're looking at right now. But I will tell you, having flown many many times in real life from miami right here to the to the caribbean i've i've flown to the caribbean i can't even tell you how many times in real life and i always sit by the window and you cannot look out the window without sunglasses on it's i mean you can but i don't know why you would it's 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 very uncomfortable for your eyes and so um what we consider realistic it is kind of a little bit distorted based on how we actually see the world. Like you don't you don't go out on a bright sunny day and just look up at the sky, um, you know. And there's a reason we stand in shade and find shady areas and things like that. And so what I've done is I turned all of that stuff off, and what I have is now this very crisp, clear. Uh, you know, unprocessed, beautiful image of Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is exactly what I want. Now, you can talk about coloring. You can talk about you know um, other other types of pro- post processing, like the the Nvidia shaders, the Nvidia filters, and those types of things, and reshade, which I don't really know any. You know, I I know generally what it is, but I don't really know. Uh, whole lot about it um but the difference between those types of programs and processes and these you know uh fringe and sharpen and lens distortion and dirt and lens flare and film grain and vignette the difference between those things and these things these post-process things is those post-process changes are changes to the color layout the color range you know making your blues deeper making the you know the changing the colors not changing what you're actually seeing it's just changing the way um you know that those colors look it's not completely changing the way the image itself looks if that makes any sense and if you look here, if you look in the distance, those buildings on the horizon are crystal clear. 
And they're clear in a way that they would be on a bright, sunny day if you were looking at them from, you know, five miles away or whatever. Can you see the windows in the buildings? No, of course not. Can you see, you know, a, 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 an antenna on top of the building? No, you can't. Um, because the sun is in that direction. You know, it's right there. Um, it, it, you know, it's got that, that look of distance through sun and, ha- you know, kind of the haze and the, the fog of the morning. Um, but it's not, it doesn't look like a processed image. It looks like it should look. And if you look now down at even the, the surface of the airplane, you see this right here. That sun reflection is very, very bright. That's what it looks like in real life. Um, if you see um, kind of the like the 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 outlines of, of the edges of the buildings and the edges of these containers down here on the right you see the sun reflecting off the tops of things like this here um, you see the reflection in the walls these are like you know kind of sheen type walls uh, con- you know like a like a kind of a uh, concrete with a like a clear layer painted over it you know what I mean and you can see the edges of these things. You can you can see the the reflections of this in there, and it just looks real. It just looks very very realistic now. And we come up a little bit higher, um, and and again, like you can see, these areas are a little darker because they're not you're not looking into the sun. These areas are a little bit kind of, I don't know if, I don't want to use the word washed out or use the expression washed out because that gives it like a negative context. Um, but that's what, that's what the world looks like. And we come around here and again, like you see, um, very, very delineated edges of things. Um, and it's, it's just, this is so much clearer and more realistic this i think we tend to have a different idea in our minds about what the world looks like in bright sceneries like in a bright you know if you're standing there looking at a bright image i think we get a different impression in our in our minds of what it looks like versus what it actually does look like which is very very bright um and so what i was going to do though so the whole point of this video um, the thing I did yesterday was about sharpening. It was only about sharpening. And what I've done now is I've gone in and I've turned all this junk off. And it's it's very, very simple to do. I'll show you how to do it. Um, the things that I've left on are eye adaptation and color grading. And color grading might be the next to go. I'm going to have to check that one to see. But I don't want sharpen. I don't want fringe. I don't want lens, dis- lens distortion. I certainly don't want dirt. I don't want lens flare, I don't want film grain, I don't want vignette. What I want is to see the world in Microsoft Light Simulator the way the world is. And then you can play with the colors if you want afterwards. Um, But I want a realistic, clear image to go as a baseline. And that's what I've got. Um, So uh, it's very, very simple to to change this um, what you do you go into your C drive users your username app data local packages then this Microsoft flight simulator dot you know underscore 8 W E K blah 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 then your local cache folder and I'll put a link in the description so you can find this very easily um, now the first thing you're going to want to do, the, the, the file that we want to change is the user CFG file. That's the file that we want to change. So the first thing you want to do is copy it and put a copy on your desktop. And that's what I've got. So you, or you can put it wherever you want. You put a copy somewhere that you've got a backup. 
um, so you can return to this file if you you know you can re just revert back to your old file if for whatever reason you don't like what you've done or you screw it up or whatever um, and then you just open that file either in notepad or notepad plus and then you come in here um, now there are two <laughs> as I learned yesterday there are two sections that contain these settings this section is it's around 120 mid 120 130 mark in the in the, the lines here um, of the file and right below that you're going to see graphics VR these are the VR settings and that's all the way at the bottom you get the same setting so if you're a VR user you might want to turn this stuff off in VR as well um, but the one the settings all the way at the bottom of the file are the VR settings the files kind of midway down like I said around the 130 mark um, these are the ones that we want to change and in order to change them you just go uh, you just change the one you just delete it and put a zero that's all you have to do go down to fringe delete the one put a zero lens distortion I didn't have I didn't have engaged right there they're turned on and then dirt delete the one put a zero lens flare etc um, and I'll just show you so lens flare I got rid of two film grain got rid of two vignette I got rid of two so you just put zeros for all those things now another thing that I heard another theory um, was that these settings right here affect only the uh, the hanger in the sim when you're like looking in the hangar to see which airplane you want to take out which might make sense except for uh, lens flare remember lens flare how are you gonna get lens flare in the hangar it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense so that's not what it is either um, so I've now made all these changes and the image is just crystal clear uh, beautifully sharp and it looks to me like it ought to look um, and a couple other advantages the thing is of, of turning off the sharpen in particular which is the way I got started with this whole thing um, is it turning off the sharpen helps to helps to remove kind of the the grainy pixelated weird look around the edges around sharp edges of things as you move um, so you're going to see a lot less of that as well which is a huge advantage to begin with but again you just look if you just look at even even the little folds here in the uh, in the accordion kind of part of the uh, of the of the jetway even that looks perfectly sharp now and delineated um, uh, the image looks absolutely fantastic and the beautiful thing is to make these changes takes literally 10 seconds and then you can go into your sim and see what it looks like and then come back out and if you know if you don't like it just change them back or add you know add ones back whatever uh, you know one by one to see how they look now to make the changes you have to have the sim closed you cannot have the sim open so um, you know just go uh, open that file make the changes if you, if you want to see kind of get a before and after just launch your sim go into a you know a place that you're familiar with um, have a look at what the image looks like uh, and then close the sim open this this config file this user CFG file which you're gonna find right here again I'll put the link in the description and then just go open the sim again and see what it looks like see what the difference is to you um, I think it looks absolutely fantastic crystal crystal clear and I just I, I think it looks amazing so I wanted to share that with you guys I hope this is of some use to you um, <laughs> the video the sharpening video that I put up yesterday was doing quite well until I until somebody pointed out the fact to that I that I messed it up uh, and I would like to thank Mike at Virtue Sim uh, for doing that <laughs> for letting me know uh, fellow content creator who was kind enough to, to reach out and point out the error of my ways um, so give this a try and I think you're going to be delighted with 
what you see. And then what you have is a clear baseline from which to work. If you want to use uh, NVIDIA filters, if you want to use reshade, whatever, to change color, col you know, the colors, that's fine. But in that, sense, in, that, in that aspect, you're only changing the colors. You're not changing the, the way the image is presented to you, the way that these um, post-processing things are changing the way you actually are presented the image in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope this guy, uh, this video has been useful to you guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, if you have any comments about your, you know, your um, results and what you think, uh, I, I'd really appreciate it if you'd share those in the in the comment section. And as always, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day.